Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm getting ready because I have some videos to film and also probably Instagram pics to take too. So I'm gonna get ready and I thought I may as well do it with you guys. I need to do my hair and my makeup. I'm not gonna go overboard. I actually have a tan on my face even though I look quite pale in this. I think it's the ring light. But it's shit without it, so. Yeah, I put on tan last night. I put on Bellamianta. Which did I use? I think I used some dark lotion and also some of their clear one. No, what's the name of it? I think it's just clear. Oh, fuck the now. Self tanning clear mousse. And yeah, I just washed it off a couple of minutes ago. I need to put some moisturizer on my face. I wash my hair. What day is it? Yesterday? Look at the grease, it's gross. I'm gonna have to dry shampoo it, but I'm gonna tie it up anyway, so, cause I've had it tied up like all day and I just can't really go back on that decision. Obsessed with this, by the way. So yeah, I'm just gonna do a ponytail. Maybe I should leave it a bit greasy, maybe it'll look better. Wow, it's so greasy. Have been exercising though, but still. So, how have you guys been? What have you been up to? I've literally been doing pretty much my norm stuff. Just a bit more chilling. <laughs> to be honest. It's hard not to. It's hard to be motivated, to be honest, all the time. The ponytail is actually pretty simple to do. I just need to clip that hair and we're done. It's not perfect, but it's grand. I usually wrap a bit of it. I think I've done this before in a video, so I won't show you too much because you'll be bored. Now I'm just gonna curl. I like to use my straightener. The straightener has like bits here that heat up, so it's really easy to do like a little like natural kind of curl. And but most people I think are able to do them with straightener. I only want like a subtle little curl, mostly at the end probably. So it's much easier to get that with the straightener. My hair's been in a bun for the last while because I just had a shower. So I need to get rid of all the kinks. Light little brush, and there we go. Okay, so I've already got my contacts in. Oh my god, he fell down. I'm sorry. Yes, I've already got my contacts in. I did them this morning, so we're good to go on the makeup. Okay, I'm gonna use a bit of this tinted primer first of all by Essence. It smells like flowers. This is supposed to give an instant blur effect and it feels like it does. Sort of like the texture of um, Benefit Professional, but a little bit more liquidy and softer, not as thick, kind of like a more chilled version. <laughs> 
for your whole face. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of L'Oreal Infallible. This is too dark for me, I think, at the moment. So I'll probably mix something in. I think I'll mix a bit of this. I'm not obsessed. It's not bad, it's not amazing. I feel, I go through phases. Sometimes I think it's great, sometimes I don't. It's quite a lot of foundation for me. I never usually wear that much, but what can I do? It's weird on my hands, so I have to use it. Can I give them a little mix? I'm such a foundation mixer. Are you? I'm like, I can't settle on just the one. I feel like lately I've gotten better. I was using my Bourjois Healthy Mix on its own for the last ages, but before that, I literally was a severe foundation mixer. Still love it to be honest. I love the mixing. I don't know why I got out of the habit, I think, because I only had the one foundation in my makeup bag, and a lot of the time I'd be doing my makeup on the go. So I didn't really have a choice. You know, but whenever I do it at home, I'm like, why wouldn't I mix? <laughs> Especially because I depend, like it really depends. Sometimes I'll have barely any makeup or barely any tan on and I need a paler colour. Sometimes I have a bit of tan on, just a natural bit. Sometimes like I've had my tan on for a couple of days, so it's worn out, you know, it just depends. You just can't predict. You don't know, do you? Mm -mm 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 the coverage is quite good. I think it's the Catrice that has a higher coverage than Infallible, similar to like L'Oreal True Match. It's like buildable, you know, it's like light and thin, um, but you can build it up really easy. So it's very similar in, similar to the formula of True Match, I would say that's how I describe it. I really like it, to be honest. I keep meaning to get a lighter shade in it. I might do that now. I'd order one online because I love it. I've still got so much left and I'm done. Oh, I'll just use it. I don't have to. I don't think I've ever not used it when I had too much on my hand. It's a really bad habit, but what can you do? That's the problem with mixing though. You always put too much on and then it's like double the amount that you actually need. My eyebrows are still holding up well. I tinted them a couple of days ago, maybe a week ago. I know, and um, they're still so dark, but I like them like that. I feel like I can get away with it when I have a bit of roots. I look ridiculous when I've just got my colour done, but I don't mind a bit of roots. And I don't, I like, I quite like darker eyebrows, but this dark is usually too much when I've just got my um, colour done, but I still like them. Makes me feel so much better having no makeup on. It's just so much easier to just. Chill when you have a bit of tan on your face and your braids done. You're lit. Okay, that's foundation done. I'm gonna use. Oh, I'm gonna have something new to use. So this, I got sent to me, but it looks unreal. I'm not gonna lie. I've heard of Flick because I know that it's Charlotte Crosby from Geordie Shore's brand, but I didn't know that Easy Locks like made it, and I think it makes sense because I think she's worked with them before. She probably knows them. But I also got Easy Lux products and they're fucking unreal. Honestly, they are actually unreal. They're so good. Their shampoo has that real salon like smell and like quality. I was like, wow. Um, but this is a contour palette and it looks phenomenal. Like, look at the colours. It has like every shade. Like it's not just like a dark brown, a light brown, and a light. Do you get me? There's so many. I'm thrilled. I think um, it looks like most of them are powder. Those ones up here look like they're, what's the word that I'm trying to think of? Do you know the ones that you blend in? <laughs> it gives you advice on what to do as well. Bronze on the hairline with honey almond to warm, to add warmth and shorten the forehead. Oh my God, it fully tells me what to do. I'm going to follow it. Oh, I need all the guidelines. Look at the amount they have on. I haven't done contour like that in a long time, but I'm kind of feeling like it now. There's honey and almond, so it kind of depends. I think honey might be a bit more me. Let's go. Honey. That one is um cream. That's the word. That one's cream contour and this one's powder. So I don't know, but okay, Charlotte. Whatever you say. Now I think I'm going to use the cream one. 
I'm gonna contour my nose. My nose feels really big lately, and my lips feel really small. I contemplate lip fillers all the time, but I don't think I actually would bother to get them again because they don't really last, and uh, I feel like they just go overboard so easily. And I don't really want a real fake look, but sometimes I do want a bit of a like pout. But what can I do? I'm wetting my beauty blender with my pixie glow mist by the way i love it it's so good i use it all the time for my makeup but i also use it like after i've done my skincare before bed sometimes or if i'm having a no makeup day it's like the mario badescu kind of vibe which i also love highlight and conceal the center of the forehead with warm sand and ivory oh it tells you the cream contour and the powder to use Okay, so I need to go over honey. Go over um that almond one with honey. Do 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 do. My ears are so pale compared to my face with the stress of taking makeup off your ears. It's too much. I actually haven't put on concealer, so I hope that this is good enough on its own. Ooh, it's nice. Ooh, it's very easy to blend. Here, my chin. I'm gonna use a bit of the really dark brown here because fuck it. Why not? How glowy does my face look already? Da, enhance and define the eyes by deepening the crease with walnut and blend with cognac. Jeez, the dark browns. They want you to use these two for in your crease. What? Now it's time to highlight above the cheekbones to lift and bring the light to the high. <gasps> I get to use the highlight for this, the like creamy highlight. I used to always use um, so Seamless Creamy Highlight in her, what's it called, contour palette that she had. I loved. I still think it's great. I just never think to use it anymore for some reason. It's very natural. You can barely really notice. It's nice on the nose. Actually starting to show up where Flick Cosmetics had 75% off on their website the other day so I went to post this contour palette to my story after I'd shown it and it was fucking sold out because like everything was because they would so much off so they might have them back now um, and they might still have a good bit off so I will share a link below if not I'll share a link to them somewhere else anyway I think they're like less than 30 quid anyway so it's well worth it. She has an eyeshadow palette as well. I wonder what it's like. I think they have like lip products. Um, that's all I know of. <laughs> I'm going to do a tiny bit of eyeshadow. Like a little natural sum sum. I might. What should I do when I flick wicky? I probably need some more um, powder actually. Like brown. Bronzers is what I mean. I've got all the West Side songs stuck in my head because I was listening to them. I'll show you this in every video, but I'm using Peachy from this palette. I'm loving a peach at the moment. Always go a bit overboard on my blush because I feel like it just doesn't really stay on that long. Kind of all blends in. I haven't used this in a while, so I'm going to use it. It's Inglot Soft Sparkler in shade 52. It's highlight. And I'm going to wet my brush. Nothing worse than when your brush sheds on you. I just want like a brownie. I don't know if they. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna use 
probably basic and whole and maybe a bit of slow burn out of the Carnival XL Pro palette. It's so big, but there's every shade under the sun. You'll never need to buy another eyeshadow palette again. Look at the colours. I'm never going to use any of them because all I wear is brown, but maybe I will one day. <laughs> maybe. Have you guys been doing your makeup? Have you just been chilling? If you're working from home, do you wear your makeup and like get full on ready for work or do you take advantage of working at home? Like I absolutely would if I was working from home as opposed to going to my job every day. Cause it's not that different for me to be honest. I always just chill at home most of the time for work. I go out the odd time, but well, I do go out to work, but most of my work is for myself at the moment, so I'm always interested to know. Because <laughs> I'd say there are people who get full-blown dressed up and like loads of people also I've seen do their commute. Like they'll go like for a little walk around if they usually walk to work and stuff. Yeah, I'm always curious to know what you do or if like there's little things that you like to do to motivate yourself. Using this for my brows, I use it in every single video at the moment. Make my make me brow eyebrow gel mascara by Essence. It's incredible. Just basically use them to put them in the right place, I guess. And fill in mostly the gap on this side. Here we go. Finally time to do my lips. I look so weird with them. Oh, I need to do mascara as well. My eyes are so bold. Just gonna do a bit of gloss. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is Oh My Gloss by Rimmel. Had it for so long. It literally is like just lasting forever. I'm using Bye Bye Panda Eyes by Essence. It's really nice. It does go under your eyes the tiniest bit, but not bad. Much better than most cheaper mascaras because a lot of them just go under your eye. I have such watery eyes. I feel like I should be doing eyeliner or something, but I'm not ours now. Okay, I'm ready. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see anything in particular in a Get Ready With Me, then let me know. I have like no colour in my face in this. That's what it's really like. Um. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like do your hair like this or recreate anything that I do or buy any of the products that I've used, let me know because I love to see it. I find it very exciting. I don't really know why, but I do. Um, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. And um, bye. <laughs>